Hey everybody! Today's mini lesson comes as a suggestion from a student. So this student asked, when do we use other and when do we use another? So we decided that we needed to make a video for this. So here we go. The first tip I want to tell you in all of this with other or another or the other or others <laughs> is simply that they are all used to show that something is different or separate. So keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to start with other. Other by itself without the, just as other alone, is an adjective. And remember that adjectives describe nouns. So when we use other, we are describing plural or non-count nouns. Do you remember what non-count means? This is a lot of grammar, I know. Non-count, meaning we do not count, would be something like money, air, water. And when I say that we don't count, I mean when we speak these words, we say, I need more money. I need to make more money. We don't say, I need to make more monies. We usually don't make that word plural. Same with air. Oh, the air is hot. We don't say the airs are hot. We just don't make it plural. So those are non-count nouns. So using other, let's see some examples of this as an adjective. I really like my class, but I know other students don't like it. Other students don't like it. Other, the adjective before students, other students. Here we are saying that other students are different than me or I, the subject of the sentence. In this case, they are opposite of my opinion and what I think about the class. I like it, they do not. Let's do one more with other. Some people love hot weather, but other people love cold weather. So now we see two groups of people that are opposite, different, separate. One likes hot weather, one likes cold. Now let's move on to part two, <laughs> number two, another. This is also an adjective, but we use it with singular nouns. Remember just a minute ago, other was used with plural or non-count nouns. This is used with singular. This, another, will show one more or one different. So let's see some examples. I already had dessert, but I want another piece of pie. Another is the adjective describing the piece of pie, and it means one more, one addition. Here's another one. Here's another one. I live near Millbrook Middle School, and my sister lives near another school. Here we see another, meaning one different, a different school. So while this mini lesson is meant to focus on other and another, and just how they are used differently, both as adjectives, I can't skip over two more pieces to this whole puzzle. Others and the other. So now let's look at others. This is a pronoun, so no longer an adjective. This is a pronoun. Do you remember what pronouns are? They replace nouns, but they can only replace a noun when we know what the noun is. We can't just start saying he. He's tall, he lives over there, he works at this job. Who's he? We don't know. We need to use a name first, then replace with he. So, the other pronouns we know, he, she, it, they, this, others, is used as a pronoun, and it will replace plural nouns. Let's take a look. This brand of detergent is the best. I don't think others are as good. Others, what are we talking about? This is tricky because I used singular and then went to plural with others but I think you can connect the two. What am I, what is others replacing? Other brands, other types of detergent. 
I like this one brand. This one type of detergent is the best. All the others are not good. Okay, here we go. Let's see the other, not just others, the other. This is part four, I guess you could say, of this video. The other is used for an alternative or for the rest of the group. It's a noun, we use it as a noun, so it's the topic or the group or the subject. And that needs to be specific and clear. We can't just start saying, oh, the other one down the street. No, no, other what? Other animal, other car, other neighbor. Again, we have to make sure we know what it is first, what we're talking about, then we can start saying the other. For using the other, we can do it with plural, singular, and even non-count nouns. All right, here we go. I had two books, and one is here, but now I can't find the other. The other what? The other book. I made it clear that I have two books, and I have one. Do I have a book? <laughs> I have one here, but I don't know where the other one, the other book, is. Let's do another one. My daughter ate one cookie, and I ate the other. So I ate what? I ate a cookie. Maybe the second cookie after my daughter ate the first. All right, so now you've seen other, another, others, and the other, or the other. With some practice, you'll start to remember when to use these and they will be more natural. Look for other or another in the grammar section of Burlington for you to practice. And lastly, I will leave you with this. I found this really great chart. If you want to study this, maybe look at it once a week, um, kind of to look at other and another as um, vocabulary that you can memorize. This is a really great chart that another teacher with Wake Tech made to help you remember singular, plural, when these words are adjectives or pronouns. So I'll put it here at the end of this video and I'll also post a little link to it as well so you can see the full lesson and see the chart. As always, please give us a thumbs up so that we know that you've watched. Let us know if you have any questions. And also, as always, please let us know if you have any suggestions for new mini lessons that we can do. Thanks so much. Bye.